On most Fridays, these streets of Jamestown, Accra, will be bustling with funeral activities. Most of the roads here will be blocked, and one will see several tents erected for funeral guests. But that is not the case today, due to the deadly COVID-19 pandemic, of which Ghana has so far recorded 16 cases. The president has put a temporary ban on all funerals for the next four weeks to prevent a further spread of the disease. While those whose livelihoods depend on the funeral business concede that the ban was necessary, they are concerned about its impact on them. Today is Friday. You are supposed to be very busy, but everything is slow. Because now it seems like due to what the, gov the government has brought, yeah, uh, everybody has suspended it or a uh, funeral. And moreover, those that are coming for us, those, those they, they bought already. So in this case, for the new ones, they are not been coming. So it seems like, and even though some are here, they're supposed to come for it, or let's say that was last week or this week, but they won't be here. So we are, we are, we are coping with it. It, it has made the, the work at least drop a little bit. Okay. You've not had any new orders? No, 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 so far. Since Monday, there's no any new order. Yes, yes, yes. Affection will be from next week going. That we may see the affection very well. Churches have also halted all burial services in compliance with the directive. At Yusu Presbyterian Church, authorities who spoke off record said all burial services had been suspended. Yusu Cemetery, which is normally busy on Fridays and Saturdays, almost looked deserted during our visits. Meanwhile, some bereaved families who have postponed the funerals of their loved ones explained why they could not hold private burials. Are you not um, probably thinking of doing the private burial so you don't have to postpone it? Oh, it's because of some people said when we are doing it, they'll come and the police come and harass you. No, not a family gathering. We shouldn't gather ourselves. So we, we postpone everything. Maybe when you call somebody, someone will come and come, uh, 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 come uh, this one to come, uh, call, call their friend. The family is big, so we, we, we can't even get 300 or 500. So for these people in the funeral industry, they are hoping that soon there is a cure for the COVID-19 pandemic in order not for their businesses to be unduly affected. Reporting for City News, I am Nashika Caesar.